Hey guys, Dr. Scott Nall here from the Village Osteopath. Today we have a great video we're going to be doing. Many times people come in to inquire about getting a stem cell procedure done and they end up not doing it because they're scared of the bone marrow harvest that we have to do. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over and show a live video of us doing a bone marrow harvest to kind of show you how it's not as bad as a lot of people think. Now when I was in medical school, the way I was trained to do it, I would say that I would not want to have one of those done. But uh, over time we've uh, learned some better techniques in order to do that and it's almost, I wouldn't say pain-free, but it's as close to pain-free as we can get. And so I don't want that to kind of get in your way of not having a stem cell procedure done. As a matter of fact, if you think about it, I see a lot of people when they leave my office, they'll walk by and they bump their elbow on the door jamb. Now, I don't know how many times people bump their elbows on door jams when they're walking through a house. And the pain can be pretty similar to that. And so if you've experienced that amount of pain, you're not going to quit walking through door jams anymore. So I just wanted to kind of put that into your mind that this might not be as bad as you think. And so we'll kind of go through things step by step, show you exactly what we do. Now be warned, there will be some blood and medical equipment involved. So if you're kind of queasy in the stomach with that, you might not want to watch. But otherwise, just sit back and relax and watch as we uh, perform this procedure. And let me show you how smooth it can be. Okay, so this is the setup that we're gonna use for the procedure itself. So we're gonna draw three syringes full of bone marrow right here. This is gonna be our numbing medicine that we're gonna use. So you'll notice the patient is not gonna be sedated or anything like that. This is gonna to be totally comfortable just by using some numbing medication. So a lot of people are like, oh, I need to be knocked out. Totally unnecessary, you'll see why here in a minute. And this is the instrument we're gonna to use to actually extract the bone marrow. It's called a jam sheety trocar. And you'll see me use that here in a little bit. And then we're gonna make a very tiny small incision with this blade right here, probably about two millimeters wide. So very, very tiny. So we'll get going with that. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some numbing of the skin. Okay, so I have a towel here. You can kind of see that we do a full surgical prep here that's a little bit above and beyond what most people do. Most people just kind of do a little arm cover and a small drape. We try to go above and beyond, so we make sure everything's done safely and correctly. So we're gonna identify what's called the posterior superior iliac spine right here. And we're just gonna make a little stick here, one, two, three. And I know this syringe looks huge, but it's just because we wanna put a lot of numbing in there because we want her to be extremely comfortable during the entire procedure. And so, a lot of numbing in. And where most people feel pain is gonna be at the surface of the skin. So that's pretty, that's known to most people. If you cut yourself, it hurts, right? So the surface of the skin. And then also at the level of the bone, we're gonna go through the periosteum has a lot of innervation as well. So we wanna make sure we put a lot of numbing medicine around that area. Okay, so we'll use that small needle first. Make sure everything is numbed up comfortably using a small needle. And then we'll switch out to a little bit larger one. It just makes it easier and allows us to really put the, the numbing medicine down into that periosteal layer. There we go. We'll stick. This also helps us set our angle too when we start using the, uh, the uh, trocar. So we want to make sure that we, uh, so right here's a good angle. Right there's a good angle. And that's a good angle. So our two landmarks that we don't want to hit, one would be the sciatic notch because the sciatic nerve runs there. And so we have a mark uh, placed down there. And then the other one's going to be the iliac crest, which would be up here because that would slip off the pelvis. So we don't need to be up there. Okay. And that's all the numbing that we need. And we'll just keep this here just in case we need to uh, add some extra. Now what we're going to do is do something called charging the equipment. So we don't want the bone marrow to clot on us. And so we're going to use heparin to bathe all of our parts that we're going to use around the bone marrow and it's mainly this thing so the jam sheety uh, trocar so we're just going to put a bunch of heparin in there let that sit there we'll pull this part out we're going to run heparin through okay that's good and then we're going to put heparin over what's called the stylet which is the part that goes in the middle which is this part right here so we're just going to run heparin all down that should be ready to go. So we're gonna take this and just make a little small poke incision here, a stab incision. It's right here where we numbed up. A little stick, that's it. Did you feel that at all? No. No, so yeah, you can see she's very comfortable. Okay. Now, this is the part that most people are scared of is actually going into the bone itself. So I'll kind of show you how that works and how it's not 
as bad as everyone thinks it is. So we're just gonna go in gently right here. We're gonna go down until we touch the bone. So we've made contact now. And we just hold it nice and steady. And just do a nice little, I'm gonna switch hands here. So, so steady rocking motion. Doing okay with that? Uh-huh. Good. Almost through. Okay. That's pretty good. In case we'll pull this part out. We'll look up the heparin here. Okay, you might feel a little pressure sensation here. Okay, there it comes. And you can see the bone marrow just gently coming out into the syringe. You can see there's no horrific screaming or crying or flailing around the table. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. totally fine. And because we're not doing a, a biopsy like you would for like try to cinch a cancer diagnosis, we're just doing an aspiration. I don't have to pull real hard, and that's the big difference. Because where the pain comes from is when you disrupt that um, that pressure gradient inside the pelvis when you're trying to break loose some spicules and other things inside and to get to a chunk of bone marrow out uh, or bone biopsy in the middle. Since we're not really needing to do that, we're just trying to get our stem cells. We can do nice and gentle pressure and it's very comfortable and not scary at all. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. We almost got this one done. Yeah, about third way done now. So now we're gonna disconnect this. There, get our trocar, our stylet again. We'll put it back in. Put it back in the trocar, just like that. Lock it in, and then just gently pull it out. Okay, there's that one done. And then we'll just take it and set over on to uh, the field to uh, use for later. So as you can see, we still have two more to go, but very simple, relatively pain-free, and not anything like you would expect. So hope you enjoyed watching, and thanks a lot.